Assessment of the suitability of some groundwater sources in Mubi for domestic application. Abstract This study investigated the quality of groundwater from shallow hand dug wells in Mubi. Physico chemical analysis of some important water quality parameters was done and the results obtained compared to the World Health Organization, WHO, and Nigerian Standard for Drinking Water Quality, NSDWQ. Results obtained show that iron failed by both standards adopted for checking the compliance while manganese failed to meet the NSDWQ standard for well 2 and well 6, DW2 and DW6. Furthermore, results of total hardness for well 4, DW4, well 6, DW6, well 7, DW7, well 10, DW10, and well 11, DW11, failed. The water quality of all locations sampled could be considered safe for domestic use with regard to their physico-chemical character as determined by this study. Keywords, hand dug well, physico-chemical, compliance, water quality, groundwater. Introduction In order to guarantee public health, access to adequate water of good quality must be given to the people, Sukumari ETAL, 2020. However, Safe water supply for domestic use in many urbanizing communities of the world is increasingly becoming an issue of great concern due to the impact of human population growth and its consequent expansion of anthropogenic influences. The human industrial, commercial and agricultural complexes, all expanding to support the rapidly increasing human population, have resulted in significant pollution burden on the available water resources. Although to a greater extent the surface water sources are more susceptible to pollution and are therefore more rapidly polluted, the rate at which the groundwater resources are polluted and contaminated by natural and anthropogenic activities in recent times is alarming, Eggbury, 2020. Notwithstanding, groundwater is the most preferred source of water in various user sectors on account of its near-universal availability, dependability, and low capital cost, Sukumaran ETAL, 2015. It is considered the healthiest source of drinking water since it is subjected to numerous physiochemical phenomena and reactions that have bearing on its final quality as it percolated through the soil structure. Consequently, the quality of a groundwater can be said to be a function of all the processes and reactions it went through, from the moment it condensed in the atmosphere to the time it is discharged by a well or a spring. One principal way groundwater contamination or pollution can occur is naturally, through geological conditions such as rock water interactions, Duga ETAL. 2020, Ishaku and Abdul Hakim, 2010. Other natural factors include precipitation, the nature of groundwater flow and its direction, its time of residence, and the intra-slash-inter-aquifer interactions. Moreover, through anthropogenic influences, leaching of pollutants originating from various activities such as industrial and domestic wastes and wastewater generation and discharge, commerce and agriculture also have capacity to degrade groundwater quality, Shukla and Saxena, 2020. Groundwater is the most important source of water supply for domestic, commercial, and agricultural activities in Mubi. For this reason, the assessment of the groundwater quality of Mubi is very important to the sustainability of its scarce water resources as well as the maintenance of the health of the environment. The quality of human life is significantly dependent on the quality of water man has access to and the health of the environment he inhabits. Poor drinking water affects the health of both man and the environment. This study therefore set out to assess the suitability of some groundwater sources in Mubi for domestic application. Materials and Methods Location of the study area The study area is geographically situated on latitude 10 degree 29 30 to 10 degree 6 30 and longitude 13 degree 14 0, 0, to 13 degree 32 0, 0, and covers a total land mass of 506.4,2, figure 1. The principal economic activities in Mubi is commerce and agriculture. River Yedzaram and River Mujara are the two significant rivers found in Mubi. River Yedzaram flows northward from its source at the Hudu Hills located southeast of Mubi, and receiving flow from River Mujara at Digil, it drains into the Lake Chad after about 330 km, Sukumari ETAL, 2020, Wante and Analifo, 2014 cited Atabia 2004. Mubi has a climate classified as equatorial savanna with dry winter or tropical rainy according to Koppen's Code, Kotek ETAL, 2006. Geology and Hydrogeology of the Study Area Mubi is of the Precambrian Basement Complex of the Hawal Massif in the northeastern sector of Nigeria's Eastern Basement Complex. It is exactly located in the parts that extend into the northern parts of Adamawa State, Figure 2, Obifuna, 1997. The rocks within the Hawal basement are characterized by high-grade metamorphic rocks, 
Pervasive Migmatization and Extensive Granite Plutonism, Fair ETL, 1996. The rocks are nice, granite nice, granites, and some minor rocks such as dolerite, aplite and pegmatite, obifuna, 1997, Atakai, and Anticum, 2004, Patrick, 2005, Basie, and Valden, 2011. Some parts of the basement complex in Mubi is overlain by alluvial deposits which may have been derived from the weathering of the basement complex uphill or in situ, Obifuna, 1997. Moreover, some areas are characterized by reddish to brownish laterite overburden with characteristics thickness ranging from 5m to 25m overlying the bedrock along river Yedzerim. The predominant geological structures of the area include older granite with dolerite and pegmatite dikes, as well as quartz feldspar veins, folds, shear zones, etc., Adabia, 2004, Obifuna, 1997. Mubi is characterized by two aquifer systems which are both highly localized as is characteristic to groundwater occurrence in the crystalline basement area. These aquifer types are namely, the fractured basement, mainly migmatite granite, aquifer, and the unconsolidated weathered overburden aquifer. In a study by Obifuna, 1997, he found that all hand dug wells studied tap water from the unconsolidated weathered overburden. The weathered overburden are luvisols characteristically made up of low organic matter, low cation exchange capacity and low water retention ability making it very unpredictable in terms of water yielding and retention capacity, Atabia, 2004. Sampling and Analytical Methodology Groundwater samples were collected from 12, 12, randomly selected hand dug wells having a range of depth between 9 mt 12 m in the study area. The pre-selected wells were sampled twice in the months of August and September. The wells were purged prior to sampling using a decontaminated baler so that the samples collected were representatives of groundwaters at the sampling locations. Sampling followed procedure described in Triplet ETL, 2006. All water samples were collected into 1 liter capacity acid cleaned high density polyethylene, HDP, bottles with strict adherence to the sampling protocols described by standard methods, APHAETAL, 2017, and were analyzed independently. Samples collected were analyzed for temperature, pH, turbidity, total dissolved solids, TDS, total hardness, TH, chloride, nitrate, phosphate, sulfate, sodium, magnesium, calcium, manganese, iron. For quality assurance purpose, all equipment were adequately calibrated according to standards before measurement, and all reagents used were of analytical grade. Samples for metal analysis were treated in the field with 3 ml concentrated HNO3 per liter in order to bring the pH to less than 2 for its preservation, Begum ETAL, 2014, David K ETAL, 2011. Samples for CL, SO42, NO3 and PO43 analyses were stored in temperature-controlled environment at 4 OC for transport and analyses in the laboratory within 24 hours. The concentrations of major anion CL, SO42, NO3 and PO43, TDS and TH in water samples were determined according to standard methods, APHAETL 2017. They Elemental concentrations for Na2+, Mg2+, Ca2+, Fe and Mn in water samples were determined by an atomic absorption spectrophotometer AAS, Buck Scientific, VPG 210, following procedure as reported by David K. Etal, 2011. Results and Discussion The results of the physico-chemical parameters for the different dug wells sampled as analyzed and statistically treated for means of concentrations and deviations from the means as well as mean of means of concentrations are presented in Tables 1 to 3. The World Health Organization, WHO, Guidelines, WHO, 2017, and the Nigerian Standards for Drinking Water Quality, NSDWQ, Guidelines, SUN, 2007 were recognized and used as the standards for comparison and checking of compliance. The compliance of the results to the standards adopted is diagrammatically summarized in figures 2 and 3. Discussion of results The mean temperature values recorded for all the wells sampled fall below the standard set for maximum permissible water temperature by WHO based on palatability and aesthetic objectives, WHO, 2017. Temperature has been reported to affect the physical, chemical, and biological nature of water, kale, 2016. Significant impact on the quality of groundwater have been observed as a consequence of little increases in its temperature. Commonly affected parameters by temperature increase include magnesium, potassium, sodium, pH, dissolved organic carbon, DOC, as, 
B, and F, Bond ETAL, 2013, Sato ETAL, 2017. The temperature values obtained in this study are consistent with temperatures prevailing and obtainable in the tropical belt, OMETAL, 2014. From Table 1, it can be seen that the mean of all pH values reported are within limits of acceptability by both quality standards, WHO and NSDWQ. The pH of water is a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions in the water and an indicator of its alkalinity or its acidity. The pH of water has significant impact on health and the environment as it helps to inhibit or drive many chemical interactions. For example, a pH of less than 6.5 inhibits the human body from the intake of vitamins and minerals and when it exceeds 8.5 the water becomes caustic and irritating, Gupta ETAL, 2017. The turbidity of water relates to the ability of water to allow or impede the penetration of light due to the scattering effect of suspended particulate matter in the water, Sukumari ETAL, 2020. Simply put, turbidity in water is the degree of its cloudiness or clarity. Who advises that should the turbidity of groundwater supplies exceed 1 NTU, then it becomes imperative to determine whether there is a potential risk for such water to cause health problems due to bacteria or nitrate pollution, World Health Organization, 2017. Consequently, groundwaters with a turbidity greater than 1 NTU should be sampled for bacteria and nitrate. The WHO standard as well as the NSDWQ standard for turbidity concerning potability of water is a value of not more than 5 NTU or equal to 5 NTU. By these standards, all sampled well meet the criteria of acceptance. The highest recorded value for turbidity was 3.19 NTU, Table 1, while the least value was 0.52 NTU and the mean of the mean of all wells was computed to be 2.00 NTU. One of the very important indicator of organic and inorganic pollution in water is the amount of total solids dissolved in it. The higher the concentrations of solids in a given water the higher the degree of contamination irrespective of its source. Aside being a very important pollution indicator, TDS also plays a very important role in aesthetics of water for drinking. Water containing high concentrations of TDS is inferior with regard to palatability and may also produce unfavorable physiological reaction in the transient consumer, David K. E. T. A. L. 2011, Kumar ETAL, 2016. With reference to Table 1, all TDS results fall quite below the recommended values of both WHO and NSDWQ standards. Similarly, the mean of the mean of all TDS value indicate that waters around Mubi may be generally fit for consumption as regards the TDS parameter. With reference to the results presented in Tables 1, the TH values observed for the groundwater sources all fall within the acceptable limits for WHO considering the range of acceptability stipulated therein, 100 mg slash L a CaCO3 to 500 mg slash L a CaCO3, dot and NSWDQ standards of less or equal to 500 mg slash L for domestic supply. Conversely however, with regard to NSWDQ, all results but for DW4, DW6, DW7, DW10 and DW11 failed to meet standard. Total hardness in water is primarily due to the excess of CA, MG, and FE salts, Beru ETAL, 2013. The high values for TH recorded may be as a result of the weathering of silicates which are present in the formation of the geology of the study area. Gilamand ETAL, 2000, and Sengupta, 2013, indicated that hard water has the tendency to influence mortality, in particular, cardiovascular mortality in addition to reproductive failure, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. Considering Table 2, it can be observed that all the major anions analyzed were below their respective maximum allowable limits as per WHO and NSDWQ standards. Such low concentrations notwithstanding, nitrate concentrations of 10 mg slash L and above poses a health threat to infants, Sharma and Carr, 2017, due to its ability to cause infant methemoglobin anemia or the blue baby syndrome, WHO. 2017. Some health risks are associated with ingesting waters with high nitrate concentration even in adults. Ward ETAL, 2018, reported the risk of specific cancers, colorectal cancer, bladder and breast cancers, and birth defects when nitrate is ingested under conditions that increase formation of N-nitroso compounds. High concentrations of sulfate has also been linked to some minor health concerns such as catharsis, dehydration and gastrointestinal irritation. Gillum Bay ETAL, 2016. Hyperthyroidism and renal failure are major health concerns tied to high sulfate concentration in drinking water, Sharma and Carr, 2017. Anthropogenic and natural sources of the major anions analyzed are presented in Table 4. 
From the results presented in Table 3, it is observed that all the light and heavy metals analyzed recorded values below both the WHO and NSDWQ standards except for iron and manganese. Iron exceeded the maximum allowable concentration in all well water samples and while manganese failed in two wells, DW2 and DW6, by NSDWQ standard. The highest iron concentration exceeded both standards by 483.33%. The presence in the relative high concentrations of the light and heavy metals is as a result of reductive dissolutions of the soil minerals, Egg Bury, 2020, Hosium ETAL, 2019. Dot containing high TDS is of inferior palatability and may produce unfavorable physiological reaction in the transient consumer, David K. E. T. A. L., 2011, Kumar E. T. A. L., 2016. Equals mean of wells, equals standard deviation. Table 4, Some Anthropogenic and Natural Sources of Anion Pollution in Groundwater. Anion. Possible Anthropogenic Sources. Source. Source. Chloride. Saline water intrusion. Application of diesers. Agricultural activities. Domestic wastewater. Industrial chemical. Landfill leachates. Batabile and Chuck Raborty, 2015. Weathering of salt bearing geological formations. Chloride from marine aerosols or volcanic gases in precipitation and dry deposition. Kelly ETAL, 2012. Sulfate. Wastewater and septic system effluent. Discharge of industrial wastes. Gillum Bay ETAL, 2016. Washing of acidic lateritic soils. Acid precipitation. Fulvic slash humic soils. Oxic conditions that could convert sulfide, H2S, in soil to sulfate. Leaching of gypsum, barite, epsom and. The dissolution of salts of sulfuric acid. Illicini ETAL, 2019. Sharma and Carr, 2017. Eggbury, 2020. Nitrate. Usage of nitrogen-based fertilizers. Disposal of wastes in proximity to the sampling locations. Dalessandro ETAL, 2012. Human-animal bodily wastes. Leaching slash washing of soils with animal waste material. Dalessandro ETAL, 2012. Phosphate. Fertilizers. Wastewater and septic system effluent. Animal wastes. Detergents. Industrial discharge. Phosphate mining. Drinking water treatment. Forest fires. Fat around ETAL, 2008. Nomadi Varnus Faderani ETAL, 2009. Atmospheric deposition. Natural decomposition of rocks and minerals. Weathering of soluble inorganic materials. Decaying biomass. Runoff. Sedimentation. Fat around ETAL, 2008. Nomadi Varnus Faderani ETAL, 2009. Conclusion. The physicochemical parameters analyzed, except for iron, manganese, and TH iron failed by both standards adopted for checking the compliance of the waters sampled to the standards while manganese failed to meet the NSDWQ standard for DW2 and DW6. Furthermore, with regard to NSWDQ, all results of TH for DW4, DW6, DW7, DW10 and DW11 failed. The water quality of all locations sampled could be considered safe for domestic use with regard to their physicochemical character as determined by this study.